Hi, this video is going to show you how you can archive your Google Classroom classes and how you can clean up the Google Classroom folder inside of Google Drive. So now that we're at the end of the school year, I have a couple classrooms that I no longer need. So I'm going to archive them and get them out of my home space so that it's uh, free of last year's work and ready for next year's. So um, we'll take a look at the very first class I have here. And to archive a class, it's super simple. All that you need to do is click on the three dots in the top right corner, and then you're going to click Archive. And when you click Archive, you get a little pop-up asking if you're sure you want to do it. I do, so I click it again. And we'll notice that that classroom is no longer in the main screen for my Google Classroom classes. Now I can go through and I can archive each one of those. So let's talk about where it goes now. The three bars up in the top left corner, when you click on it, you have the option to go to your archived classes. And when you click on it, you can see that your archived classes are now all listed in a different section of Google Classroom. And they have kind of like these lines through the, the class card. The great thing about archiving a classroom is it still gives access to everyone who is in the class co-teachers, teachers, and students, they can still access the assignments, we can go to the classwork tab, we can still see them, we can click on them, we can open them up, we can see the work, but we can't do any posts to the stream, we can't submit any more work, it's kind of locked down, but the work is still there to review. If you have an archived class that you want to bring back, you can click on the three dots, and you can click restore, and when I do that, we will notice that it goes back to the main class section of my Google Classroom. So there it is there and it's all set and ready to be used. A neat feature of archiving a classroom is when you set up your new class, you can and when you go to reuse a post in the classwork tab, it still allows you to search out the assignments from your archived classes. So let's talk about the Google Classroom folder now. We will notice that uh, in Google Classroom, when, you, when you're in Google Drive, you have your Classroom folder, and in your Classroom folder, you will have the classes that you have created in your Google Classroom. So one of the neat things that I like to tell people to do is to clean this folder up so that next year, if you're using Google Classroom, you only see the current year's uh, folders. So what I've done in the Classroom folder is I've just created a brand new folder and I've titled it 2019-2020 school year and when I open it up this is a list of all my archived classes and current classes from that school year and I've just moved them into that folder so let me quickly show you how I did that and how it looked before so I'm going to go back to my Google Drive there's my classroom folder I click on it I have all these classes that are uh, classes inside of my Google Classroom. I'm going to select them all and I'm just going to drag them into the new folder I created called 2019-2020 school year because that's this school year. And now when I go back to Google Classroom and when I make a new classroom for the 2020 school year, we will notice that it nicely gets placed outside of this folder. We just got to wait for it to load and it will appear um, in the classroom folder here. So I'll just refresh and there it is there. So I hope this video showed you how you can archive your class and how you can clean up your Google Drive. If you have any questions please feel free to reach out to the TELTSEs at RCDSB. The email address is teltselist at rcdsb.com dot on dot ca